Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we want to look at the state of the church. Acts chapter 4, verse 32 through 37. We will see that these believers shared whatsoever they had because of the fruit of the Spirit, the love that was in their hearts. It says, Acts chapter 4, 30, verse 32, the whole group of believers was united in their thinking and in what they wanted. None of them said that the things they had were their own. Instead, they shared everything. With great power, the apostles were making it known to everyone that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead and God blessed all the believers very much. None of them could say they needed anything. Everyone who owned fields or houses sold them. They brought the money they got and gave it to the apostles. Then everyone was given whatever they needed. One of the believers was named Joseph. The apostles call him Barnabas, a name that means one who encourages others. He was a Levite born in Cyprus. Joseph sold a field and he, that he owned. He brought the money and gave it to the apostles. So we see yeah, from the early church that when the hearts of the believers are aflame with love for Christ, they are also kindled with love for one another. This love manifested itself in giving. An example from God the Father. St. John 3 and verse 16. For God so loved that he gave his only begotten Son. He says that whosoever believeth in him would not perish but have everlasting life. So the early church believers expressed the reality of their common life in Christ by practicing a community of goods. They were doing that which was good amongst themselves, one for another. They did not selfishly hold on to their personal possessions, but see their property as belonging to all that is in the fellowship. So whenever there is a need, they would see that need, they would either sell their land or their house and bring the proceeds to the apostles for the distribution. So this Christian love and fellowship and brotherhood and unity was because of the love of God, one that is shed abroad in their hearts and because of the Holy Spirit presence in their lives. So when the early church and the Christianity of today is compared or contrasted, what do we find? Do we find loving hearts like the early church or hard hearts? Do we find genuine love like the early church or cold love 
or no love? Do we find people that says uh, in the early church, my possession belongs to everybody else? In the modern church, do we see that for each his own, what I possess, it is mine? We see them steadfastly following the Lord. This was the order of the day. In the modern church, do we steadfastly follow or we steadfastly follow fame and fashion and everything else? Because we are selfish and we are attracted to the world. We lack the love. We receive accolades and praise for ourselves and we don't truly give it to God. We have seen the things that the early church has done. And the Bible says the church had power because they dedicated their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ in continuing to follow him, him in the doctrine of the disciples, in the breaking of bread, in sharing what they have, in going from house to house to conduct prayer meetings, and they continued steadfastly in praying. So the Bible says the things that happened to them were great. They had great power. Acts 4 and 33. They had mighty power. According to Ephesians 1 19. They have exceeding great power. They had excellent power. Eternal power. Glorious power. Divine power power their hearts we would say were in the right place because when they added the power of Pentecost in their hearts they were now producing the fruit of Pentecost in their lives and the first fruit that the Holy Spirit bears is love and they were the Playing their love one for another. So the Bible says with great power, they proclaimed the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And this is, this is what makes their ministry effective. And whoever does not believe in the power of the resurrection that the apostles preach, they would not be saved. We see two marks of a great church in verse 33. The Bible says they had great power and great grace. We also see when the apostles preach great Fear came upon them. But they would also go through a time of great persecution. But when they remember the joy of the Lord, how God is saving souls and people are turning to him, it gives them great joy. The Bible also make mention of a great number of people who believed. So we see the generosity and the love of these people, both for God and for their fellow men. And we, they make mention of Barnabas, the one we will see when we get to chapter 5, who is in contrast to Ananias, who is the hypocrite. But the Bible says Barnabas was a man of consolation. And therefore, he sets the example by selling what he had and bringing 
the money and laying it at the apostles feet when he brought it and he laid it there he was saying it is no longer my own it is for the community of each and everyone else therefore he didn't distribute it himself but he brought it to the appropriate authorities as there is a need among his fellow brethren that the disciples would see to that need today as we contrast the modern church to the early church we want to really take a look at the state that we are in we knew their state based on the scriptures we also knew or know our state based on what we have today so let us remember that love as these brethren did in the early church characterized their ministry the way they shared whatever they had god bless you thank you again for watching and may god bless the usa